In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the reasons why my family and I decided to settle for Milton Keynes. Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nazi Enyi. If you're new here, see me for the first time. Hi, it's lovely to have you here. I'm Nigerian but based in the UK. I'm a makeup artist and also a nail tech. I run my beauty studio in Milton Keynes. On my channel, I do vlogs, motherhood and lifestyle content. If you are a returning subscriber, you know the drill. Thank you so much for returning. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the reasons why my family and I decided to settle for Milton Keynes. So if you're someone that is relocating, thinking of relocating, or know someone that is trying to relocate and you don't even have a city in mind you haven't decided on the city you plan to live in i was in your shoes once upon a time i'm here to tell you guys two reasons why you should consider moving to Milton Keynes. i'm just joking anyway if you're interested in this sort of video make sure you watch and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel so Without further ado, let's just jump right into the main purpose of me sitting down here and talking to you guys. That means the main purpose of this video, okay? So Milton Keynes has an interesting layout in terms of the fact that it has, um, you know, multiple estates around each other, okay? Each estate has its own public play area for kids which is very, very important, especially as a family person like me. It was very well planned. I think they planned it in such a way that it has that um, US vibe. Everywhere in Milton Keynes is actually um, close to each other. They have like the sitting center in the middle, which is mid Somers. So Somers is actually the middle, central of Milton Keynes. Then all the estates are like round it, which is making it very easy and accessible. The second one is good, public schools so definitely we did not plan to take our kids to private school because it's quite expensive so we wanted a city that has good public schools because we already planned to take them to public schools you guys know public schools here are very 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 good so we did our research asked some questions the next reason why we settled for Milton Keynes is the houses are massive. Forget when people say UK houses. Yes, UK houses are small. So it depends on the city you're going to stay in. If you want to go and stay in London, you will stay in a cubicle for a lot of money, like a large amount of money. The houses here are quite big compared to houses in London and basically all the um popular cities you guys know in the uk went to a couple of places and the houses were shown i was like mm, how can you have a three bedroom house with one toilet and one bathroom so everybody will rush in for toilet if we now have visitor everybody rushing for one toilet ah no we couldn't do that so we already had an idea of what we wanted of course in this uk something has to give especially when you're looking for a house you can't have everything but you see one toilet was a deal deal breaker for me when i was watching adese adese oh, what's her name again adese's um, location vlog adese space yes adese space location vlog and she was saying one toilet was a deal breaker for her i could really 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 relate because especially when you have children when they are going to school in the morning you're going to work you have things everybody rushing for one bathroom cannot even work so um that was one thing that my husband and i we said we cannot get a house that has only one toilet and one bathroom so we had to keep on searching before we came to milton kings and we found the place so milton kings has big houses like i said initially i think they built this place having us in mind they wanted it to have that us vibes which they try to accomplish so it's really different from other cities so the rent you pay milton Keynes for a three four bedroom house with a garden two bathrooms in fact two bathrooms two toilets and everything the rent you pay <laughs> utility room garage everything parking space 
is the rent you pay in London for like two bedroom flats. In fact, the flat you saw in London that I wanted to take was in Wembley. I was just to my house, I didn't know what, let's just look for other houses. It was basically more than the rent you're paying now and it was a flat. We didn't have a garden, there was no garden, there was no utility room. Was just a three bedroom flat the next reason why we settled for milton keynes is the fact that it's very close to london if you want to go to the city of course this is not your ideal um city 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 okay if you want to go to the city you want to see a lot of people chaos you know want to see a lot of high-rise buildings want to just have that london feel it's very close to london you can get a 30 minutes fast train to london and you're in the city so you can actually go in the morning have fun come back and sleep in the comfort of your big house <laughs> so that was one of the things that attracted us the next reason why we decided to stay here uh, goes back to my first reason milton king is actually a family city okay it's very quiet very safe you can your kids can walk to school i'm not saying that your kids cannot walk to school in other cities but I feel that like Mitsuki is very quiet, very safe. You have communities not overly populated and everywhere is still green. It's still it's still fresh. Okay, so it's something that you want to raise your kids in, especially when you have children. So anything we do, my husband and I, we just consider like our kids are our top priority. We think about how they'll feel, how happy they're going to be. And we came here, I just re realized that they'll be so happy here, okay? It's beautiful. Milton Keynes is very, very beautiful. Let me put it that way. It's very beautiful. Was, Milton Keynes was not a city when we came to the UK. And that was a problem for me because I'm a Lagos girl. Me, I like city vibe. Fortunately for us, it, they just made Milton Keynes a city just before the Queen died. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to develop more in the next two or three five years okay because to be honest milton kings can be boring because it's very quiet if you like the city vibes if you like to go out see people you won't get it in milton kings to be honest with you i will not come here and say all the good things this uk something has to give you can't get everything you're looking for it's not possible at all you have to sacrifice some things we had to sacrifice the fact that my husband and I were both city people. We like to party, we like to have fun. Even though sometimes we like to like stay, we just like to stay in the house, but we want to go out. We go out big. So Milton Kings is not somewhere that you just say, okay, I want to go clubbing and just, you know, see a lot of people. No, no, not really. Even when you go to the city center, which is the city center, I told you the mall, you not see as much people as you see in London walking on the streets. Okay. So if, if you're that kind of person, you like New York, um london legal city vibes you might not enjoy yourself here i'm sorry but if you have kids and your kids are your priority and you want a safe place a nice city a beautiful city for them to enjoy i have good friends i think you should consider coming to milton kings but if you're single if you're single don't come to milton kings because you will be bored okay well, you'll be bored so these are actually the reasons why we settled for Milton Keynes when we came to the UK. Fun fact, before we came to the UK, a couple of people told us about Milton Keynes. And I checked, I researched and realized that me, when I was coming to the UK, I just wanted to stay in London. <laughs> I feel like it's the same thing for everybody until they come here and realize that ah, London is not like that though. Because that was actually my first time. I've been to the UK before, but I went to Manchester. I never came to London. So I wanted to stay in London, London. So when we came here for houses around, guys, if you see the houses, they were showing us. Hey, hey. Who we'll just enter like this? Me and my husband will look at ourselves like this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There was one day, even they showed us a shared house. One door for two people. It had one entrance, then had two more entrances inside. So you have one door sharing with somewhere you don't know. People kept on telling us, go to Milton Kings. Go to Milton Keynes, go to Milton Keynes. And I told me, I was like, okay, let's just use one day and drive down to Milton Keynes. I kid you not, the moment we drove into MK, which is Milton Keynes, I just told my husband, babe, this is it. This is our city. Like, let's just look for a house and move in. I love it already. It was so green, it was just different, so clean. 
big roads big houses clean houses the walls are clean the area mm -mm. i said okay this is it so immediately back 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 look for a house moved in and since then we've been living here and i don't think we're going to leave anything in case or less work or anything makes us move but we are really enjoying ourselves here so if you're thinking of moving to the uk just consider moving to Milton Keynes. If you live in Milton Keynes and you're watching this video, comment down below and let me know. Let's know. Let's meet ourselves. Let's say hi. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you guys in my next one. Till then, have a lovely day. Bye. Bye, loves.